So here's our picture so far. It's really coming along. We've got some burn marks. We've dulled out the color. Um, we've changed the hue, saturation, lightness. Um, we've dodged the corner. And now it's time to add some further things. Uh, something that's really obvious is that uh, modern cameras have a really good focus and the old cameras didn't. They were certainly more blurry. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate again. Just I'm going to get the original image back and just demonstrate quickly um, what this will look like and then you can apply this to your image just to add some effect. So under filters you may or may not have already noticed blur as one of the choices. You may have done that already with amber earlier. But we're going to choose Gaussian Blur, and my main reason for choosing Gaussian Blur is it has the best preview window. Um, you can certainly choose another one if you think that you can find something interesting. And so what you'll notice is that with the Gaussian Blur in defaults, it's at set at 5, and these are chained together horizontal and vertical. And really, everything is ridiculously blurry. It's just not not even interesting at all. A photograph of that quality would just have been thrown away. It wouldn't have actually been made it um, into circulation. If I change this setting down to zero, you'll see that's no change at all. Um, because as you know from math class, zero multiplied by anything is still zero. So really we want to bring it up a little. So there's a one that you can tell is a little bit more interesting. As I drag it, it kind of goes back to before and then comes back out. If I go to two, I'm really starting to get blurry again, really starting to lose any of the grip that I was hoping for. So I'm actually going to want to change it manually. So just highlight it and type in a number. Let's try maybe 1.7. And you'll see the numbers have now changed. That's better. I can still tell that that's a statue. I can still sort of tell that that might be a face. Um, these soldiers, they still have a little bit of definition. I think I'd like a little bit more definition, maybe 1.3. And let's give that a try. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit better. It's not quite so blurry that way. All right, so I'm going to hit OK, and you can see the blur. Now, if, if it's not really obvious what the blur is, then what we can do is we can do Edit Undo and then edit redo. So you can see here, if I undo this, this is control Z. And if I redo it, then it's control Y. And so I can do that really fast. Just go control Z. Oh, that's before the blur. Control Y. That's after the blur. So I can just kind of go back and forth. Z, Y, Z, control Z, control Y, control Z, control Y. And just kind of see what difference it makes. Oh, I'm happy with that. I do like it. So now I can go back to my original image and do that all over again. Um, now that I'm, oh, filters, now that I know that I'm happy with that, I can go to my Gaussian blur and I had already tested the 1.3. So let's assume that I'm happy with that. And now my whole image has been blurred just slightly.